As most of you know by now, Take-Two purchased Zynga for roughly $13 billion. I did a video about it last week in case you're curious for more information. And it was nothing compared to what Microsoft did this week, purchasing Activision Blizzard for $69 billion. And yeah, I also did a video about that too. Feel free and check them out if you haven't done so already. So last week on this uh, show on CNBC, it's one of the networks we have. They do like business stocks, etc. The show is called uh, Squawk on the Street, and a few other content creators like Ben, Gilly Master, a few others have uh, posted this infamous tweet from the CEO of Take-Two, Strauss Zelnick, and the interview comes from this show last week on CNBC. By the way, the transcript, I'm going to link that below in the description section. So several people were there, Farber, I think that's his name, uh, Kramer, Kramer's quite popular on CNBC. They were asking Strauss Zelnick various questions about the future of Take-Two, Stocks, Zynga, but Kramer also brought up some questions regarding GTA. So during this interview, the specific part I want to talk about where the infamous quote comes out, Kramer is the one who leads into the quote by Zelnick. Because there's some disagreement about how much it matters, say one of the two Housers left at Grand Theft, aka Rockstar Games. Dan Hauser, who was the former founder of Rockstar Games along with his brother Sam, he was also the lead writer. There have been some defects in the new Grand Theft Auto, which is uh, a reference to GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition. There's been, as you've always held, that we're not going to put any game out before it's time. <laughs> <laughs> Another lie by Strauss Zelnick exposed. So thanks, Kramer, for that. Shout out to Ben over on Twitter. I'll link his Twitter account below in the description section. Now, this is where the infamous quote from Strauss Zelnick comes out. With regards to the GTA trilogy, that was actually not a new title. That was a remaster of pre-existing titles. We did have a glitch in the beginning. Oh, really, Strauss? That glitch has been resolved. Right. And the title has done just great for the company, which implies sale-wise. It's not great as in performance-wise. It's not great like there's no issues with the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition. It's just been great sale-wise because they've been able to sell it across multiple platforms. As of right now, Xbox, both Xbox One, Xbox Series S and X, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, PC, Nintendo Switch. At the moment, it's just digital on Nintendo Switch. Eventually, there is going to be a physical copy for Nintendo Switch sometime in uh, 2022. And there's also going to be ports for uh, smartphones like iPhone and Android for the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition. In that regards, Strauss Zelnick is probably right. The title has done just great for the company, sale wise. Now, regarding the claim by Strauss Zelnick, the uh, CEO of Take Two, he's not the CEO of Rockstar. I've seen other people make this mistake. Sam Hauser is still the CEO of Rockstar Games. Strauss Zelnick, which is the CEO of uh, Take Two, he's also the chairman, is the publisher, the parent company of Rockstar Games. He's the one that made this infamous quote last week on CNBC. Now, regarding his claim that the glitch has been resolved. Now, there were two title updates that Rockstar's put out so far. I covered them both. Title update 1.02. And then on November 30th, 2021, there was title update 1.03. That's the last title update we've gotten so far at the recording of this video. So it's been almost two months since the last title update for the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition. So is the claim by Strauss Zelnick that the glitch was resolved valid. Is it true? No, it's not. And I can prove it by simply driving around GTA San Andreas Definitive Edition and show you various screenshots. That's all I have to do. For one thing, when we're driving around the desert here, I know just going out of control in the Super GT, yeah, you can see that there are rocks and trees just magically popping in when they shouldn't be, especially not so close to the draw distance of the player, it just takes away the immersion of the game to see all these pop-ins happening. And this is just one of many examples in GTA San Andreas 3 and Vice City Definitive Editions when these pop-ins occur. This should not be happening on the PS5 or the Xbox Series. And I don't think it should be happening at all on PC or on PS4, Xbox One, or Nintendo Switch. Bear in mind, just like Strauss Nelnick said, 
These are remasters of pre-existing games. The OG GTA Trilogy 3 by City of San Andreas. Those originally came out for the PlayStation 2 and the original Xbox. So theoretically, the hardware has improved considerably since the time of the PlayStation 2. So from the original Xbox to the Xbox One and from the PS2 to the PS4, the hardware has improved significantly. And you can even put the Nintendo Switch up there as well, which is superior technology than uh, the original PlayStation 2 and original Xbox. And then the same thing goes for modern PC gaming as well as the PS5, Xbox Series S, and X. Therefore, these pop-ins should be a non-issue. Another thing that shouldn't be happening in the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition is the low res. So if you see from the screenshots we have to show you today for evidence, you can see a lot of low res issues happening throughout GTA San Andreas Definitive Edition. This happens all the time in all three games. And yeah, you see it a lot more when you're, you're in a helicopter like in GTA Vice City or like the, the skimmer, the Dodo in GTA Vice City Definitive Edition. You won't see it as much in GTA 3 because you do have a Dodo, but it, it barely flies. There's a trick to it, but you see it a lot more whenever you're flying around in the games, like in Vice City as well as San Andreas Definitive Edition with a helicopter, with planes, with jets. But you can still see the low res problems that happen on the ground itself like in the distance you can see low res in san fierro and other parts of the map it looks awful and once again this should not be a thing on any of the platforms that the gta trilogy defense edition happens to be on and it shouldn't be an issue either for the iphone or the droid or other smartphones that this ends up getting ported on either because smartphones have come a long way over the past what decade or two Another issue I want to talk about, even though it's temporary, but it's also a draw distance problem that we see, is what I call map tears. So if you look around the map sometimes, especially in GTA San Andreas Definitive Edition, you will see cracks throughout the, the hills and the mountains and the rocks and even on the land of GTA San Andreas Definitive Edition. This is another issue because of the draw distance. That should not be a thing. And it just looks awful as hell to see these cracks and tears throughout the game when that should not be a thing at all so that's another issue that a lot of players are seeing and as you get closer obviously the low res goes away and so do the map tears but to see it is absolutely disgusting now the other issue that does not go away when you get close enough in fact you have to be close in order to see this problem are gaps in the map throughout gta san andreas I'm sure that this is also a problem on Vice City's map as well as Liberty City's map for a GTA 3, but I have noticed this on several occasions driving around GTA San Andreas in the same areas. On a bridge, there's a gap, and on the roads, there are gaps. Sometimes there's small gaps that you can barely see, and sometimes the gap between the road and the land is obvious as hell, and that's something else that needs to be fixed. These gaps need to be tightened because it's just awful looking to see the fact that you can look through these gaps, whether it's a bridge or the road. And that's another issue, I think, Strauss Zelnick, that requires a title update along with everything else we're talking about. Sometimes there's also frame rate issues. Now, I haven't noticed this problem as much, but it does occur. And I do have a quick video to show you while we're talking about it. So I haven't seen this often in GTA San Andreas. But like I mentioned, I have heard stories about frame rate drops in certain areas. But other things I've noticed is uh, vehicles and motorcycles glitched into the ground. I don't think that the vehicles are supposed to be glitching into the ground like that. And I think that problem is also happening on 3 and Vice City Definitive Editions as well. And there's several other glitches that a lot of us are still coming across post title update 1.03 for example i did do a quick short video a week or so ago where i was just driving around los santos and all of a sudden a car hit me at an intersection just popped in out of nowhere and sent me spinning into the air it was hilarious but yet another problem that remains in gta san andreas definitive edition and sometimes during like cutscenes, you'll have characters just at really weird angles during a live stream last week uh, wrapping up one of the cutscenes, Carl was at the casino and he was talking to Woolsey's men after completing a mission. 
and uh, Carl is just staring weirdly into the camera instead of looking at the NPCs while having that conversation. It was really odd and another problem that needs to be fixed when it comes to the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition. And don't get me started about the way a lot of the characters look, like Denise, for example. I know everyone else has talked about Denise and a variety of other characters from 3, Vice City, as well as GTA San Andreas that still look fugly compared to their original counterparts in the original 3D era games of 3 Vice City as well as San Andreas. So that's yet another problem that exists in uh, the GTA Trilogy Defense Edition post title update 1.03 and there's probably some things that I failed to mission as well. So Strauss, I think that your claim that the glitch was resolved when it comes to the problems that are in the GTA Trilogy Defense Edition is not True. I think it's pretty safe to say after presenting all of this evidence to all of you, my awesome viewers, subscribers, and fans, and friends, mods, members, you the jury, I think you can take the evidence and we can all debunk Strauss Zelnick's claim that the quote-unquote glitch was resolved when it comes to the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition. These three games definitely need more title updates. Whether or not Rockstar is working on more title updates remains to be seen. But if we go by that infamous quote from a week ago in that CNBC show with Strauss Zelnick, it has led many to believe that perhaps Rockstar is officially done putting out title updates for the GTA Trilogy Defense Edition. In other words, Rockstar and Strauss Zelnick's work here is done. Well, no, it's not. Anyways, uh, let me know below in the comment section, those of you that have been playing the GTA Trilogy Defense Edition, Post title update 1.03, have you encountered any of these problems or other issues that I have not mentioned when it comes to GTA 3, Vice City, or San Andreas Defense Edition? Pop ins, low res, map tears, gaps in the map, frame rate drops, other glitches, bugs, issues, along with uh, character designs that you think should be addressed and resolved with uh, future title updates for the GTA Trilogy Defense Edition. And don't get me started about the draw distance of the GTA San Andreas map. I already did a video about that a while back. Yeah, they, they added some fog element to it, but the draw distance still hurts GTA San Andreas. But compared to all the other problems we've brought up today, the draw distance really doesn't bother me as much as long as the draw distance actually made the game look good at a close, medium, and long-range distance. And pop-ins and map tears don't look good at all. Once again, if there's anything you'd like to include when it comes to the issues you've seen in the GTA Trilogy Defense Edition post title update 1.03, feel free and include all the issues that you've discovered below in the comments section.